Welcome back to Pantheon. Let's conquer this area. Hopefully, I might be screwed, but um, yeah, hopefully I can get through this without too much hassle. I might die because this is sketchy. Okay, so I head down here maybe. Being way too careful. I'm a bit, a bit low on blocks, so I want to be conserve conserving them. Oh wait, gas is gonna spawn maybe? There might not be enough room for a gas to spawn really. I'm kind of wondering if that's gonna be enough room for a gas to spawn and he's a 5x5 space. Maybe it's just kind of a scare tactic to discourage you from tunneling or getting or going up there. But what I really want to do is head towards that thing right there. Uh, okay, but I know this cave spider is going to spawn. But hopefully not when I light him up. Eh. Okay, that's relatively safe. And safe. Ish. Yeah, it doesn't seem there's enough room for this gas to spawn, poor guy. <laughs> so, yeah. And I, I think that's a 5x5 five spa five space right there, so that gas will probably be able to spawn. So, but if I get to it, and maybe shoot it before it shoots, shouldn't be a problem. And that I want to take care of. Blazes. That was a high hitbox. Okay, there's a skeleton spawner there. I can see, so I just kind of want to avoid that general direction, maybe? And head down there. But is there any spawner down there? Doesn't seem to be, so risk it! Okay, not much of a problem there. So I'll just make a staircase. And easy way back. Although it's kind of risky. Yeah, I kind of want to make this... that. Alright, let's head on... onwards. Probably not enough room for that gas to spawn again, so I'll just... rush the blaze spawner, not a... not a cave spider spawner. Okay, someone spawned. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Come on. Die. I just, I just spawn back there, down there. And where am I heading? I still don't see a goal. Let me just take care of this guy. All right. I'm guessing I have to head down, maybe. But I don't want to head down. I want to stay up high. I see another gas spawner down there. Did I hear a creeper? That's not worth the risky jump. But I can head down this way, I think. Yeah. And then there's a blaze spawner un underneath this mossy cobblestone. Spawned one or two. Hopefully it won't knock, knock me off. Alright, no problem, no problem. Whew. Wait. I heard that. Where's that silverfish? Where are you? Where's the silverfish? Weird. Okay, that's a skeleton spawner. Don't want to get anywhere, anywhere near that. <laughs> Come on. Quit hiding you. There you go. There's one over there. I still hear that silverfish. Like, where is it? It's probably down below somehow. Somewhere. Did I see a spotter flame up there? No. Okay, this seems like I could get down. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Die, die, die. Okay. Risk it! I think I saw cave spiders around here, so I kind of want to light it up. Okay, they're there. They're going to fall off. I 
kill you guys while you're shooting at me. And get to the gas spawner. There we go. Kill you. I know there's a cave spider spawner around here somewhere. But where? Ow. Eh. Oh, come on. Glitchy blazes. Where am I heading? Oh, I see, down there. Saw that wool fleecy box. Oh. Duh, look at this wall. I'm not just doing this again. Oh, silverfish. Uh, so I guess it's gonna take longer. <laughs> I guess. This is the only thing that silverfish makes happen. Oh yeah, and ghasts. Ghasts are gonna blow up the um, silverfish, aren't they? So I just have to be careful around gas spawners. But with this wall, I can head... Oh wait, can I head... In more? Oh, sweet. Well, this is just plain easy. <laughs> okay. Thought there would be bedrock behind the uh, bricks. But this is an easy way down to where I need to go. And then it's just a matter of either bridging or finding a safe ish path to the fleecy box. Well, that's the plan at least. Hopefully, this doesn't get nasty and sketchy and dead. Alright, let's just check where I am. Okay, so I can get out there, but where's the fleecy box in terms of this location? Okay. So I think it's down further. Yeah, down much further. Okay. So continuing. Getting lots of nice little cobblestone blocks. Shouldn't even be carrying this anymore. But I dropped it where I'm going anyway. Alright. Screw you. Dug straight down, oh my god. Okay. Plenty of cobblestone now. And to come. I think going around the corner to the to the um, back wall might be the best way to approach it. Yeah, from like back here. Okay, where am I? Oh, huh. It's a bit thicker. But I'm sure eventually they'll hit the outside again. There we are. Okay, let's just open a viewing couple of holes. Alright, so there's a fleecy box. So I need to find good uh, path to it. Die, die, die. Um. Hey, come on. Hmm. Come on, get out of here. Okay, that looks perfect. So I'll just get down to that, and then it'll be a free wall. <laughs> I assume. I, I mean, I'm sure there's tons of spawners or something in that path, but, you know, I'm tunneling. I can always tunnel through the um, silverfish path if I really need to, and maybe block off some of the whatevers. Okay. Super simple need to figure out where I am. I shouldn't be wasting my sword on this. I should be using my... Yeah, that should have been done a long time ago. <laughs> Whatever. Not too attached to my looting 3 sharpness 4 sword. And that's just stone or not. Oh wait, this must be the uh, path. Sweet, that was perfect. So maybe if I do that... And then maybe, then I'll check if this is the right uh, path from up here. 
just be safe. There might be some other path that's not near the wall. Alright, where? Okay, I can see the light coming off my torch, so that is the path. So I just got a tunnel right into the fleecy box. The sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Hopefully it's, it will be simple. Probably want to tunnel one up. And then here. Yeah, come on. Just block that off. Okay. Man, when was the last area that didn't, like require or encourage tunneling like this. Can't think of any areas of this map that didn't like have the easy way out be tunneling. Okay, so gas will be starting to spawn. But I don't want them to hit the silverfish. That would be bad. So I want to kind of hurry. Can I dig down one? No. Well, I can. And then I can do this. Okay. No, not that way, this way. Is that blaze I hear? Okay, no. Meh. And then that. And then that. Oops. Well, meh. Actually, I need to be heading down a bit, right? Maybe? Yes. thing I'm afraid of is just the, the silverfish blocks breaking right underneath my feet because of a silverfish being hurt. So if there's like a poison silverfish spawner, like right inside the fleecy box or something, that could just drop me. <laughs> Hopefully, Mr. Mapmaker didn't think of that. <laughs> okay, so I should do this. And maybe dig down one again. Yep. All right. Oh, nope. Need to dig over instead of that way. I mean, did they make the change to poison silverfish um, in 1.5? They might not have. I hear silverfish. It's kind of sketching me out. But. Yeah. Okay, so not that way. Down, maybe. This way. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, hit that. So, there we go. in. Ow. Maze hit me through the wall. Yeah. Okay. Can I dig down one? Yeah. Yeah, I should be digging down more. Does 
there's the first spawner. Or is that just silverfish from somewhere else? Not sure. Almost there. Just need a few more blocks towards the placey box. Oops, sword broke. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was that? What's hurting these fishy? What's hurting these fish? Kind of want to just make a safe platform for myself now. Fleecy box. Actually, there we go. Just to be safe. That. And that. Oops. Green wool. Huh. So it's not the red wool. Weird. I gotta get out of here. Should be simple enough. Alright. Snag the wool after minutes of digging and tunneling and chopping through silverfish. Let's just take a look at all the blazes around there, see what see what I caused. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm sneaky. <laughs> okay, back up here. And I guess I could just like dig all the way back to the um, entrance if I wanted to be super careful. I'll just see if there's if I uh, made a safe path, safe path path for myself up here. I forgot if I did. Is it safe, fish? I mean, this isn't the safest path, but it's fast, I guess. Shouldn't take that long to get back. <laughs> Forgot. Was that, did, did I have to make that jump before? Alright, then I head up. Go across the staircase. Nothing better knock me off. I'll suck. Alright, and this is the point where I stopped being super, super safe. So, yeah, sweet. Got the green wall. And, huh, what's going to be in the next area thing, the, the, the one that had, the one that was in this area but with the teleporter, is that going to be the red wool or the black wool or what, might be a second area or something, I, I'm not sure, I'll have to, I'll have to, uh, which, which area am I going to do next, am I going to do the last area of intersection 5 that was in the intersection 5, or am I going to go straight for the, uh, teleporter past here. I think I can do the last, last area two inter of intersection 5 first. Because whatever. Yeah, so I'll do the um, miners only rule next, I think is what it was called. Yeah, okay. I didn't die in this area, wow. There was plenty of opportunities though. <laughs> Um, this was way back, right? I'm not going, like, in a random direction. Um, the pigmen that were here and their spawners weren't exactly that challenging. Oh, hello. How did I miss you? Weird. <laughs> then down the staircase and then teleporter, right? Or around a corner and then teleporter. <laughs> And then it was the, um, the stupid tunneling thing through a teleporter, or was it, no, no, this, yeah, this, it wasn't through the teleporter, here it is. Yay, this is fun. Going around an area like this, yay. Ugh. I still don't know why they gave me the freaking Feather Falling 5 boots in that chest. W when would that come in handy? Like, 
in this area. I don't I don't see any really high falls or any um risk of falling really. Unless it was to the void. Lol. Ah, okay. So this area wasn't too much of a problem so far. I haven't gone through the teleporter, so I don't know. I assume that's gonna be either the red wool or the black wool. So uh yeah. I'll probably end the episode as soon as I get out of this um intersection five or something and head towards the my path to, all the way back to intersection one and I need to get more food. Look like these potatoes are the only food I have in any of my chests. I'm gonna have to do some power farming with some bone meal. And then cook up a bunch of potatoes and then use that. And then I'll come back for stuff. Also should repair I don't really wanna I kinda wanna try for another sword. Another decent iron sword. Huh, I never saw them spawn before. Yeah, I might like chuck a level thirty on an iron sword and see what that gets me. Cause I don't really like this sharpness for looting three. I wouldn't want to repair this because it doesn't have unbreaking. And it also has looting on it, which I don't like because it just is a racks up the enchantment expenses for repairing it. I want a smite five unbreaking three sword. That's all I want. I don't want anything else on it. Just smite five and unbreaking three. Let me just try to juke the zombie. Oh, oh, wow. It's really hard to juke zombies in 1.7. Alright, so next one I'll be going for is Miner's Only Rule. Which I assume is a play on, or a uh, mechanic on, digging straight down. Because <laughs> I think that's, like, Miner's Only Rule. I think. Might be mis mistaken. People moving stuff downstairs. Alright, so, uh, yeah, see you next time for her Miner's Only Rule. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, yeah!